everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial from the Dominion box set, and today we are painting another Vindicta, only this time it is in the colours of the Knight's Excelsior. I've been excited to do this one because it's a really cool colour scheme, it's very, very unique armor tone, and, well, we're just going to get started. So, the place we're going to start is with all the armor, and the colour we're going to be using is a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part skeleton horde mix. And this is gonna, as I say, be used all over the armor. Now, the reason we're using Skeleton Horde is because they have a very, kind of very pale ivory scheme for their armor. So what we wanna do is we just wanna start getting this Skeleton Horde mix all over that armor, just like this. And we wanna be careful with how much we've got on our brush because we don't wanna completely dominate the armor. With it, what we're wanting to do is get that kind of subtle brown build up in the recesses. Now you could just do a recess shade if you wanted to, but this is much quicker doing it this way because we are going to be doing a layer over the top. So we just want to go all over like this. As you can see, I'm using sparing amounts, just being careful. It doesn't matter too much if we blob it too much on the flats of the panels. Because as I say, we are going to layer over it, but we want to make things easier for ourselves by not doing that. So just using the tip of the brush to get these nice, smooth coats. Just like this. And with that done, you should have a Vindicta that looks something like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to relayer that armor. And the color we're going to make is a roughly two parts pallid witch flesh to one part Corax white. This is a really bright color, so it might take a couple of thin coats to get this done. But what we're going to do, as I said, is we are basically relayering here. We've also got a little bit of water in there just to thin down that, thin down that mix and make it nice and smooth. What we want to do is we just want to start layering this over the top of our flat armor panels. Because this is such a bright mix, this is possibly gonna take two thin coats just to get it nice and properly covered over. Just like this. You just wanna pick out all the flat areas and just avoid any of the recesses around the miniature as you do this. Leaving that shade where it's settled. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some white scar. I'm going to use this to highlight all of that armor. By just picking out all of the edges, like so. So with that done, you should have some seriously good looking ivory armor for your Knight's Excelsior, just like this. It's absolutely cracking. Right, with that out of the way, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna color in the soft details and the color we're gonna be using is Black Templar. So we wanna go in under the armpit, just under here. Just being very careful now that we've done all of that lovely armor. Wanna splodge black on that. 
what we also want to do is we want to paint in the base, uh, the belt, and the various leather straps. And we also want to paint in the back of the shield as well. And so with that done, you should have a Knight Excelsior that looks somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now is going to move on. We're going to paint in the blue. And the first color we're going to be using for this is Talisar Blue. And this is going to be on the shoulder pads and on the shield facing. Now on the shield, you don't have to worry too much about getting this over the top of the sort of lightning and the face. Because those are both going to be metallics. So that'll cover over absolutely no problem. And with that done on the shield and the shoulder pads, what we're now going to do is we're going to do another layer, but this time it's going to be a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part ultramarines blue over the top. And this will give it that distinctive Knight's Excelsior blue tone. Just like this. And with that blue applied, just whilst we wait for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some wildwood and we're going to use this on the soft wraps of the weapons. So here on the spear and down here on the knife as well. And with that done, what we now want to do is take some thin down retributor armor and we're going to use this to paint in all of the gold details. And this is going to include areas like the mail, the scale mail. Like this. It's also going to include the shoulder pad trim. As well as the lightning bolt. And the face on the shoulder pads. Around here. Like that. We will finish these bits off. And we're also going to paint in the, sh the shield trim as well. As well as this kind of area on the shield spear and here on the spear similarly on the knife as well like this oh we should also point out the face on the shield is gold too you just want to go around picking out all of these gold details and then we'll come back with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down iron hand steel and we use this to paint in all of the silver details. 
So this is going to include areas like the flat of the blade, well, the entire of the blade, not just the flat. Like that. So want to paint in kind of lightning bolts design around the shield. Like so. You also want to paint in the buckle on his belt. And these areas on the shield as well. And with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a one to one mix of contrast medium and saigon brown. I'm going to use this for his face. And the contrast medium is just in there, kind of take some of the power of saigon brown out. So you just want to very carefully now. We've got all of that lovely armor around here. Paint in this cycle brown mix. All over the skin of the face. Just being careful not to use too much at once so that we don't gum up all the details. You've got plenty of control. Like this. And with that done, we're then going to take some black Templar and use this to colour in his hair. Just like this. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to shade the metallics. And the first colour we're going to use is Fire Slayer Flesh. We'll use this all over the gold. With that done, what we then want to do is we want to use some Griff Charger Grey. Use this to shade our silver details. For example, just here on the blade. Use it there, for example. Similarly, around here on the shield. As that done, our Knight Excelsior is now at what I would call a war hipster sort of battle ready. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take him that extra step further and start brightening him back up in the shaded areas and adding some extra highlights. Now the first colour we're going to be using is Retributor Armour. And we're going to be using this on the shield mostly. And what we want to do is basically just want to brighten up this rim of the shield by painting this Retributor Armour back over the top avoiding the recesses and kind of going up to where that kind of lip on the shield begins. Just avoiding a 
those rivets. and bright again like that as you can see and you can do this on the rest of the gold details if you wish but you don't need to because they're very small we are going to be adding some highlights very shortly that will brighten them right up And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Liberator Gold. We're going to use this to highlight all of our gold details. So for example, here on that shoulder pad. Just like that. And on the male. So, and so with that done, you should have some lovely bright shiny gold now. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the silver using some Stormhost silver. But what we're also going to do is we're going to use that same Stormhost silver to add some spot highlights to our gold. So we do this by picking out the sharpest points, like for example there at the crest of the shield and the little rivets, just like that. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Lothern Blue. We're going to use this to highlight the blue. So the shoulder pads. And the shield. Lothern blue applied, what we then want to do is take some Baharoth blue and we'll apply this to the corners of our shoulder pads, like that, and also the rivets as well. This is our little spot highlight. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some Dawnstone and use this to highlight the black details. Like so. And next up, we're going to use some Gorthor Brown. We're going to use this to highlight the skin. And then next up, what we want to do is we want to take a tiny dot of Screaming Skull. We're going to use this to colour in the eyeballs. And with that done, what we then want to do is take a really tiny dot of Black Templar. We want to use this to colour in the pupil. And with that done, all that's left to do is to colour in 
the gems. Now there's one here on the shield and the color we're using is Blood Angels Red. There's that one just there. There's one on the spear on both sides, like that. And there's one here on this scabbard, like that. And lastly, I want to take some Luganath orange, just add a little dot to this tips of each of those gems. Just like that. And there we have it. Our Vindicta in the panoply of the Knights Excelsior is now finished and he looks absolutely striking in his bone ivory armor it's a really interesting color scheme that they have it's not a pure white which is always quite a challenge to do but i think we've absolutely nailed it here with this knight excelsior and the base if you're interested in how to paint that you can check out how to paint arcane wasteland bases going for a shyish type of effect here just because well the realm of death should fear the knight's excelsior if you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button here on the YouTube channel page. And if you just love this video and want to give me a little donation as a well done, you can click on the thanks button below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.